Alright man, what's going on? What is going on? Hold up, got your heat on. What's going on man? This video is gonna be about how to get your commercial license and, and a little brief story about how I ended up getting mines and how I came up out here and why I ended up doing it and everything. Uh, first of all, first and foremost, before you go to the DM before you go to the DMV, I need to stop cursing. Need to, before you go to the DMV, hold up. Hold up. Before you go to the DMV, man, you got to go get your medical examination done. All right. Cover my address right quick. You gotta get your medical examination. You gotta do this every two years. All it is is just a piss test, height and weight, and blood test and vision, and that's it. That's all you're gonna do. So, yeah, you gotta do this. This is the first thing you gotta do before you go to the DMV. They wanna see this before you go do your written exam and before you go to your trucking school and they take you on the road training. Yes, you need this first. Uh, you know, um, second of all, typical stuff. Uh, have your, if you already make sure you have your driver's license already for a normal four wheeler or a regular car, make sure you have that as well, too. And um, typical shit for the DMV. I think now you gotta have your social security call, social security number, passport. If anything, if you're coming from another country, I guess you gotta have your visa or green card, proof of residence, wherever you live at. A bill, a light bill would be good. A light or gas bill, and your birth certificate. Um, next up, next up, pretty much after you do your medical, ex cover the address. After you do your medical examination, pretty much uh, make an appointment for the DMV and um, go take your written test. Uh, hopefully, you're able to study and you know and get, and get your mind right before you, before you go take your written test. It's four tests. It's the car again. That's pretty easy. Um, air brakes, general knowledge, and combinations. And plus, if you want to add endorsements like tankers, hazmat, doubles, triples. Um, if you're going for a class B, I guess you get your passengers endorsement. And, and yeah, pretty much. And after, if you pass everything first try, which I hope everybody does, hope everybody can do, if you pass everything first try, just go look for a trucking school. Um, there's uh, big mega companies who will pay for your, if even if you ain't got everything right away or whatever, like if you ain't got your permit, whatever, there's these trucking schools that will pay for everything for you. Everything. Written tests, everything. You just got to work for them, I believe, for like a year or two to pay them back. Or you can go to a mom and pop trucking school. It depends on you and your budget and you know what's your situation, man. You know, um me personally, and it depends what the area you live in. See, I live in California. The LA area, California, Southern California. So I, I live in Long Beach. Um I went to Toro Trucking School. Anybody know that trucking school, man? That is Lord have mercy. Anybody who knows Toro Trucking School, that school is something else, man. They came a long way. I seen them now at the um the commercial dry test center in Gardena. And they still got the same trucks. They painted it, that red, that red Freightliner one. They painted it actually yellow and red. I guess now they changed the colors. They still got the same trucks. They just changed up the colors and it looks a little bit more better and cleaner. But um, yeah, it's not that bad, man. It's just um, you just gotta put your mind to it and study, 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 study. Ain't no way around this, man. You gotta study. Even when you go to the trucks, who study your inspections, practice your inspections. One thing about Toro that I liked was that if you didn't have a day that you were scheduled to come, I guess, you can still go up there and practice your inspections all day long, that however way you want. Even after when you're done with your classes or whatever, you can still go practice your inspections all day until they close. That's one thing I took advantage of. See, this is back in the day when I used to work in the warehouses and everything, and I used to work nighttime, so I would take advantage all day. So if I was anybody, just take advantage of whatever they give you up there. Take advantage and study. You know, let your fucking friends go, cut off your homies, cut off the bitches you might be fucking with, whatever. Let them all go, man. Stay focused on this shit because for real, it's positive outcomes with this. Now, the only thing negative about these, about having a commercial license is these tickets and fines. They're hard to fight. Right now, I got a speeding ticket that I got back in October for going, supposedly 58 and a 45 zone when I was doing 55. I know that for a fact, so I don't know. I'm undecided if I should go fight it or just pay the damn thing. Comment down below what should I do and what's best for me to do. This is a speeding ticket. And um, I called two different lawyers. They said when it comes to commercial vehicles, 
it is harder to fight. It is harder. I don't know if they say that because they ain't trying to be bothered with me or if it's just true or not. Anybody who's been in some situation with speeding tickets or anything, let me know what's the process. I need to know. But anyway, back to the topic, man. Uh, what I covered. First, go get your medical examination and all that. Take Get your physical. It's just a um, P test, height and weight, vision, and blood pressure. That's it. Next up after that, uh, if you got the commercial handbook or I don't know how you might be doing your situation, you might go to an actual mega company to go do your to go get your CDO, or you might do it at a private at a private school. But whatever you do, just study. That's the main secret here. It's study, study, study. There's no way around it. Um, uh, shout out to the new subscriber who subscribed on my channel and who commented on my recent video and one of my older videos. Thank you. Um, if it wasn't for you, I would not make this video right now. <laughs> but uh, just go off for everybody right out here who is actually trying to uh, try to get the CDO and do something different out here, man. It's not that bad. Trust me, it's not that bad. Um, I recommend for your first two years or so, go be a company driver. Learn the ins and out of this. Um, learn as much as you could. Learn about the truck mechanically. I recommend carry your own tools. I got my own goddamn tools. That way, if I ever get stranded, I know how to fix it. I don't know what to do already. Um, yeah, learn about it, man. Even right now, I've been doing this for two and a half years. Next month, January for the new year, it'll be three years I've been I have with my commercial license. Um, and I learned a lot, man, over the years mechanically, mentally, and everything, man. Um, being out here, man, it kind of made me becoming like a man in a way, man. Because at the end of the day, I'm 23, I was 20, and I was like 19, starting out trying to get my commercial license. I didn't get it until I was 20. I actually, yeah, that's just how I was 20, because I'm 23. Yeah, I didn't get it until I, I was 20. Crazy as fuck. Um, and, you know, I learned a lot over the years, man. You know, I learned that once you get your CDO, you're going to learn who your, who's your real friends and who's not your real friends, who, who's supportive of you and who is not, who is unsupportive of you. Trust and believe it. You know, I've been through it all. I'm, I'm to the point to where now I roll solo out here. I don't be too much on the fuck with nobody. You know, I try to stay off the radar, just be my, go to do this. Be my family. That's it. You know. You. Uh, I don't too much gonna be screwing around out here. And, you know, doing anything, man. Um. Anyway, I ain't trying to make this video long, but fuck it. You know. Uh. Let me talk about this shit. Okay. This is how I got my commercial light. This is how I got interested in it. First of all, back when I was 18, I graduated high school. My mom was actually telling me to go get my uh, go get my uh, commercial license and everything, but I didn't know how to do it at the time. I didn't know how to do it to like. I used to work at Nova Warehouse over there in Carson off of Sepulveda. Everybody knows that they got two locations. They got the Nova Container First Station. They got uh, NTSI. NTSI used to be in Long Beach down the street, where Sepulveda turns into Willow right there. Now they moved it to Compton. I forgot the street over there, but they moved it to Compton. And I used to work there, and I was working in the warehouse at first as a swamper, forklift. Uh, sometimes I'd be a supervisor, lead. And I'd be the one doing the paperwork and everything. And then they moved me into the office as a dispatcher. They just dispatch some truck drivers. They own operators. And um, every Friday, I would see their paychecks, man. Their own operators. So they was making between, I would see 2700 The most one that I saw some of, them, some of those fools were making was like, what? Maybe five grand. Almost the ones who got their fleet, their own small fleet of trucks, almost like 10, 20, 10, 10 to 15,000 a week, depending if they got. Got some drivers working for them or whatever, but they was making a decent amount of money, man. And you know, living a decent life. And I'm like, I want this. And plus, I had a kid on the way at the time, so he's like, you know, you gotta do what you gotta, you gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do when you done got laid and plant your seed, and, and you know what I mean. So, um, and I just had to ask, like, how you get your commercial license? And they told me to get down on what I need to do and everything. They showed me all the paperwork. Uh, shout out to uh, one of them for giving me all the written tests that I needed. Yes. Gave me all the written tests and I still have it to this day because I got this ticket, this speeding ticket. And if you got like a point on your license or more, and when you gotta renew your license, you gotta do all the written tests in order to re do the re you gotta pay, then do all your written tests to renew your license. That's if you got fuck around, get a ticket, and you don't fight it, you just pay it. And but yeah, that's something about the DMV and everything, just to let y'all know something. But yeah, um, all the owner of is basically where encouraged me to my man to get out the office and make me some real money, you know. Even as a company driver, he's not that bad out here. You make your money. It's just your first year is hard. Your first six months to a year, depending on you as an individual, 
it is hard as it is hard to make some money out here. It's a lot. It's a learning process. Before you think that you could be making this big money, because it ain't gonna happen right away. Oh no, take it from me. Oh no, it ain't gonna happen right away. It takes time, patience, and you gotta learn. Ask questions. Ask you. Ask you. Ask for help out here. Don't be afraid to speak up. Seriously, it's okay. You know, it's gonna be a little bit trashy at first. It's fine. It's embarrassing. Trust me. I still cut the truck up to this day. Going up where the 110 and the 101 is at. And you gotta climb that damn hill. You load it. Shit. I still fucking cut the truck off from time to time. Seriously. Or sometimes I just ride it in first gear all the way up. Fuck that. I ain't taking the rest of shit in it. Sometimes I don't wanna go in the gear. Yes, I still fuck. I still mess up out here. I still make mistakes out here. I am not perfect, but I'm just saying. This is for anybody out here who's trying to go get the commercial license. It's not that bad, man. Get your medical examination first. Make an appointment. Go do your rent test. Study first if you need to, depending on who you are as an individual. If you get your permit, um, you can call up these mega companies who will help you, who will help you and pay for your schooling and everything. Or you can go to a private mom and pop school like Toro over, over there in Gardena and whatnot. It's up to you. It depends on your budget and your situation. I wish I wish anybody out here the best of luck who's getting a commercial license. Good luck out here. Don't give up. Don't listen to what anybody is going to tell you because a lot of people are going to tell you, oh, why are you doing this for? Why are you doing that for? Or trying to tell you what you should or should not be doing. Nah, that's not how I roll on this channel, man. Do what's best for you. Follow your dreams. And stick to your goals. And stay positive. And until then, I'm out of here, man. I'm still over here in Broly, California getting loaded up and everything. But other than that, man, good luck to good luck to everybody out here who's trying to get the commercial license, man. I hope this helps you and gives you and it opens up your mind a little bit, you know. And I hope this helps.